Hi and welcome to Everyday Vlogging with Rich Bassini. Today is January 5th, 2019. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you for, to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content and I hope you come back for more. Today I got a, quite a few windows open up. I want to get started with the reseller news. I want to expand on each topic and then we'll keep moving right on. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay. For those who are new, I just want to share with you really quick. I do not read everything verbatim. I will give you the URL and tell you the company where I get the information from. And the rest is up to you if you want to pick up where I left off. First one we're going to start with is ecommercebytes.com. And the URL is www.ecommercebytes.com. And the story goes on today. This came out Friday, January 4th, 2019 eBay sellers deal with sales tax monkey wrench. Now, I got a couple of windows opened up with the uh, dealing with the eBay sales tax, so it's going to be coming up. You might see different stories with different companies, so just bear with me. <laughs> okay, it goes on to say over here, online sellers continue to struggle with the state sales tax issue, and Minnesota just threw a monkey wrench in the mix. We encountered a thread on, on the eBay boards that show how Minnesota's well-meaning provisions is causing additional headaches for small sellers. On January 1st, 2019, eBay collected sales tax to comply with marketplace facilitator laws in Washington and Minnesota and will, exp will expand compliances to additional states with similar laws in the coming months. For most states, the marketplace facilitator laws make it easy for marketplace online sellers since it is the marketplace that deals with calculating, collecting, and remitting tax, not the sellers, sellers who or are who also selling our own websites and other platforms are still burdened with compliance however and we'll move right along here it says on eight of the eight states which ebay said it would begin collecting sales tax this year so far only minnesota added a qualifier from ebay's help page small business exemptions minnesota has enacted a small business exemption for out-of-state unregistered sellers who taxable whose taxable retail sales into Minnesota for less than $10,000 in the previous 12-month period. These sellers are not subject to Minnesota market tax, marketplace tax laws, and eBay will not be collecting sales tax to those uh, to tax on, those trans, on these transactions. That sounds good. However, it complicates things. Sellers had lots of questions in this thread, and it's an active hyperlink. If you kick, click this on here, you could read the thread, but we're not going to do that for all intents and purposes. For a simple reason, and we'll be here all day reading, and I got a lot of windows open up. So, um, It goes on to say here, sellers are, had a lot of questions in this thread on eBay boards, but the Minnesota question inf uh, initially flummoxed uh, even the eBay moderator. Uh, let me move my mouse here. Uh, and then it goes on to say, uh, first, he said, regardless of the says potential eligibility uh, for exemptions, eBay will collect sales tax for all purchases and remit to the state. A seller can request credits that may qualify for. However, uh, we will not be making adjustments based on a seller's business size. Not only would this be difficult to calculate and predict for throughout the year, but a seller very reasonably could be doing additional businesses in that state. That would put them over the limit. But he later on, uh, but later he posted. Uh, that the above statement was incorrect and add the following clarification. To clarify, we would monitor the seller's sales to determine if they qualify for exemptions and we'll, uh, we'll adjust accordingly. Uh, we are aware that the reporting is needed for the seller's review and working on the future improvements. This is going to be a nuisance, folks. Uh, <laughs> uh, it goes on to say here, I'm not going to read too much more into this here. I'm going to stop at the bottom where that tweet is. Uh, it says, well, we're working to collect and remit sales tax on the seller's behalf. We can, be, uh, we can determine uh, this is required. A seller may need to make adjustments. If they have a revenue outside of eBay that puts them over the threshold, this is something on our radar, and the enhancements may come in the future to further support the seller's business. Let's uh, let that sink in. eBay is forced to collect and remit sales tax as a marketplace hosting online sellers. But... It's unable to determine if it should be collecting on behalf of the seller since he or she may be uh, may not be exempt, and it lacks reporting capabilities for the sellers that acknowledge they may uh, acknowledge they need. States say the Supreme Court ruling in Wayfair, which is overturned the Quill's uh, physical nexus pre uh, precedent, allows it to make such laws. But the Supreme Court also said that the laws could not create undue burdens upon the state's uh, interstate commerce. Uh, it sure looks like there are some significant burdens impacting small businesses around the country as each state creates its own laws and exemptions. 
Okay, the next store is next story is from footwearnews.com. And the story goes on to say eBay sneaker buyers in several states will have to pay sales tax starting this year. It goes on to say here, very brief it looks like. I don't know if you have to continue to subscribe to read more of it, but I'm going to read what they give you here. So sorry about that, folks. It says eBay, I mean not eBay, <laughs> every day in the U.S., 40,000 pairs of shoes are sold on eBay. According to the e-commerce giant, as of 2019, more shoppers are going to have to start paying sales tax on those purchases. In the wake of the U.S. Supreme Court South Dakota versus Wayfair Inc. decision, which opened the door for the states to require online sellers to collect sales tax on out-of-state purchases, legislation has proliferated around the country, extending tax mandates to both large retailers and merchants of all size who sell through e-commerce marketplaces. Previously, online retailers only had to collect tax from their customers located in the states which they had significant physical presence in the state, such as office or a warehouse. We all know where this is going. There's going to be a, probably another story like this. We will see. But uh, this is the URL. I'll give it to you. It's uh, if you just type it in here, www.footwearnews.com. For those who are into selling on eBay or any selling platform, this is the year where us online sellers will be paying taxes. So let's get used to it. It's This is what's coming, folks. All right, so let's move right along. Now, there may be, let me just see something over here. Before, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, before I jump into the other stuff, because I want to make sure if there's, um, did I do this one already? I know I did one with uh, that there. <clears throat> This one over here is from uh, e-commerce bites. Let me get this one here. Let me get the tax the tax stories out of the way here. <clears throat> I'm sorry, folks. That is crazy cough. I can't seem to uh, shake it just yet. Here, all right. Uh, it goes on to say here, eBay starts collecting sales tax with more states to come. I don't know if we did this one already, but let's see. It says eBay announced in October it would begin collecting sales tax in four states in 2019 due to new laws that extended tax collection obligation to the marketplace uh, market facilitator. Uh, note that online marketplaces, Etsy, have already begun collecting sales tax, uh, such sales tax in 2018. Um, it's just, I think this might be a little different than the other one. Uh, it goes on to say eBay began collecting sales tax on January 1st, 2019 for the transaction where buyers are based in Washington, Minnesota, and said it would begin collecting sales tax in Pennsylvania and Oklahoma in July 1st, 2019. But the states have been very, the states have been very, have uh, been busy, very busy, have been busy passing legislation in the wake of Supreme Court's 20, June 2019, uh, 2018 South Dakota versus Wayfair ruling. And eBay has added to the list states which it said it must collect sales tax. Based on the applicable tax laws, eBay will collect, collect and remit sales tax on behalf of the sellers uh, for items shipped to its customers in the following states. It wrote on its help pages and listed the following uh, eight states along with the dates that would comply with Minnesota, Washington, Iowa, collect uh, in Connecticut, New Jersey, uh, Alabama, Oklahoma, and Pennsylvania. According to the page, once eBay starts to collect sales tax in the above states, no action required. On part, there will be no charges for or uh, fees for eBay automatically calculating, uh, collecting, and remitting sales tax. Collection process will apply to all states where the seller is located at a uh, located in or out, outside of the United States. Now, if this is what I'm thinking, see, there's two stories I've read once before with this here, uh, <clears throat> where it said the seller, even though they're doing this here, the seller will still be required. Now, I don't know if that's, if that's for the states that they're not collecting it in, but I thought I read it once before that uh, it was going to, it was going to be, you know, that, that the sellers were still going to be uh, held accountable for the other things. Now, I'm not sure what this is all about. Uh, like I said, this is probably going to change as time goes on. Um, let's see what else it says here really quick. Uh, eBay said in October, we believe this ruling is unfair to the small business and will continue to find the best way to support and advocate for sellers. Uh, but the marketplace only sellers, <clears throat> uh, marketplace facilitator laws may preferably to have it calculated uh, collect and remit sales tax themselves. Uh, let's see here. Uh, be sure to read eBay's full help page uh, carefully and keep checking back for updates. I was going to say because this is going to go. This is going to change. I don't think it's just going to stay. You know, one one way. I think it's going to change as time goes on because there's going to probably be little. 
you know, little dings in the system here, which is going to cause a little more problems. But let's see how it plays out. Uh, it goes on to say you can find more information about the marketplace facilitator laws on various sites, such as this recent post. This is an active hyperlink. These are active hyperlinks, folks. So if you are on this page, on this website here, you can click these on, you can read it. I'm not going to get too much into it because, like I said, I got quite a few windows open up. I want to expand a lot each. Uh, so it goes over you can find more, more information of, uh, on a market, about marketplace facilitator laws on various sites, such as this a recent post published on December 28th on tax software from Alvera's blog. Matter of fact, I just got an email from Alvera uh, in regards to the tax uh, thing there. Um, I don't know if I have that up or I might have taken it off. Uh, but if I get it, I, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you know the e you know the uh, website here. Uh, it's e-commerce bytes, and you can check that out for yourself. Let us move right along here. <clears throat> uh, this is for me. This is uh, about eBay. I mean, not eBay, my YouTube. Um, <clears throat> this one here is uh, another eBay story. eBay is blowing out Xbox Live Gold and PlayStation Plus early uh, year yearly memberships for just fifty dollars. A deal is a deal, right? Yeah, a deal is a deal, and it's a whole lot better than paying full price. It didn't have this when I was I had my PlayStation. I had the PS2. I liked it, but I had no time to it, so I ended up selling it. But anyway, it goes on to say, all right, before you even say it, sure, we've seen better price on Xbox Live Gold and PlayStation Plus memberships uh, on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Yes, there were many significantly cheaper. Yes, they don't even come close. But if you are, <clears throat> but if you're someone who missed out on these deals, on those deals here. I didn't need to renew at the time. eBay is offering a PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live Gold memberships for just $49.50 for the year. And then you could read it here. It says uh, PlayStation 1, one year membership, and it go on. And again, it goes, um, again, these don't come close to the prices we saw over the holiday shopping season. Um, but at this point, the deal is a deal, and it's a whole lot better than paying full price. Uh, we don't know how long it will last or what supplies will run out. So scoop this up while you can. Just head up, uh, just a heads up. Uh, if you're buying something through our links, uh, we may get a small share of the sale. Click here for more information. Okay. Um, I don't have either or. So uh, for those who are interested in this here, let me give you the website so I don't forget. It is uh, www.notechie, one word, dot com. And the story you're looking for is eBay is blowing out Xbox Live Gold and PlayStation Plus yearly memberships for just $50. Not bad, right, guys? Okay, here we have another one over here. Uh, this site here is called GameRant, one word, dot com. It's www.gamerant.com. And the story is Wii U consoles are going for crazy prices on eBay and Amazon. The story came out January 4th, 2018, which was yesterday. It says there is no denying it that the Wii U was sales failure for Nintendo. The Wii sold over 100 million units and stands for one of the best-selling video game consoles of all time. Where the Wii U didn't even reach 15 million over the course of its lifetime. However, with the Wii U apparently being discontinued, brand new consoles are now going for crazy amounts on the sites like eBay and Amazon. And it goes on to say, as we discovered by Twitter, US, US, uh, user RS Gab, uh, brand new Wii U console bundles are selling for nearly $800. This is quite pricey for a console that barely, <clears throat> that barely anyone was interested in buying a few years ago. Luckily, anyone that wants to pick up the Wii U can get a used console for a significant cheaper price, which range from $100 to $250, depending on the retailer. Even though the Wii U... Uh, hasn't been a most popular Nintendo console. It does have some distant, uh, distinct advantages. For one, it's backward compatible with the Wii, uh, meaning that it is fairly a significant library of critical acclaimed games uh, between the two consoles. In fact, some of the most critically acclaimed games of all are playable on the Wii U, including Super Mario Galaxy and The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. All right, that's... Uh, Pretty good there. I'm not going to read the rest of this here. I know there's probably not much more to read, but you could check the rest out because I want to move along here. Uh, for those who are new, when I do the reseller news, I basically give you a little, you know, update on this here. I'll expand a little on the topic. And uh, if you, gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen out there, <laughs> are willing to uh, take the time and check out the uh, rest of the story, read it. Uh, that's why I always give you the um, URLs, uh, and you can check it out for yourself. Uh, okay. But this one is from GameRant.com. 
And uh, that's the story you're looking for right there. Let's move right along. And we want to go with this one here. eBay Sellers. This one is, again, from ecommercebytes.com. I gave you a URL earlier. It says eBay Sellers are hooked, on global for, hooked for global delivery problems. Story came out Friday, January 4, 2019. I always like to incorporate the dates in there when I do the news so you know it's not too, too old. Although sometimes the news does get a little old. Uh, this one here, somebody's right into Ina Steiner. That's the owner of uh, e-commerce bites. It says, Dear Ina, I wanted to inform you and your readers that I just got off the phone with the eBay customer service and was informed by two different customer service reps and also a supervisor that the items sent to freight forwarding companies are now covered under the buyer protection. All three employees state that the buyer has to now admit that the item was either reshipped or that they live in a foreign country. And this is uh, this has come tr come through uh, eBay messaging. If uh, the buyer does not admit this, eBay is claiming that they have no proof that the item was ever reshipped. Uh, then it goes on to say here, this has never been. Uh, Wait, was this, up here? this has never been this way for as long as I have sold on eBay, and there is nothing in the user agreement about this. But it looks like the sellers might be losing another protection. Oh, brother. Yeah, I don't do international sales, to be honest with you. I'm not saying I don't care about it. I mean, uh, for those of you out there that do uh, use international sales, you are a seller that sells overseas. Uh, you may be interested in reading the rest of the story here. There's probably not much more to read. It's probably down here is the comments. I love to read the comments, but <laughs> uh, like I said again, because I, you know what, the reason why I, I, I chuckle sometimes because if you hear what these people have to say, these are sellers like you and I, what they have to say on there. It's really amazing um, because to be honest with you, I said this once before in my other videos, uh, other sellers will bring out things that I wasn't even aware of. Okay, I mean, I, I, you know, it's, the things half the times the things that these people talk about, these other sellers, I never experienced these uh, these issues on eBay, but they have, you know. So um, you got to really check it out. If you got the time, read the comments. Uh, I'm not going to expand too much on this here right now. It's not because I don't sell global, on, you know, I do a global shipping, uh, and I don't care. I do care. That's why I'm sharing with you guys out there. Uh, I, want, I want you guys who do ship overseas to, you know, look further into this here and reading up a little more about it because. Uh, you know, if, if you are an overseas seller, uh, this does affect you. So you might want to check into this here. You know the URL, so I'm not going to expand too much on this topic here. So uh, check it out for yourself, guys. Here, this story here got me a little here. I um, want to expand a little on it. It says, uh, it's about stock. It says, eBay stock is cheap, but be careful. Competition could keep it that way. Uh, the threat from the big name rivals could be holding down eBay's valuation. Now, for those who do own stock or you do buy into it, uh, you may be interested in the story. I'm not going to expand too much on it. It just goes on to say here, uh, in 2018 for the markets, eBay's NASDAQ eBay had the worst year. The shares were pretty much tracked in the NASDAQ composite index from January to June that fell off. Uh, eBay stock lost 28% versus the year versus, uh, yeah, versus for the year versus the index of 6.9% decline. Uh, that's a huge, not, that's huge. And so, and surprising difference, considering that eBay doesn't have a stretch balance sheet that should amplify investors' concerns. Net debt is close to zero. Generally speaking, this has been a stable business, not the not the type that one would expect to underpin uh, a stock that has lost so so much in va of its value. So, what's going on here? There are two possible answers. Which one is investor con uh, investor chooses will frame his or her outlook uh, toward eBay stock. And then it goes on to say here the eBay stock price has fallen too far. Uh, for those of you out there who do, uh, you know, sell or not sell, but you buy or trade stocks, eBay stocks, uh, you may want to read this here. This let me give you the URL, folks. It's uh, www. I know they got the HTTPS, but I like to do it that way. That's why I always find it. www.investorplaceoneword.com, and you can read the rest of the story here. Um, I think that just about does it. Let's see here. Hold on for a second here. Um, oh, that's something else. Let me just see here. Reach. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me. All right. Let me close this one out. Where is it? <laughs> Where'd that one go? All right. It disappeared on me already. Okay. eBay stock. Let's close this one out. Uh, I gave you a rough one here. Uh, I'm not gonna play the video, even though it's a minute long. Uh, this one here, I got a, a, an email from from eBay. A message, I should say, from them, and it says, "Oh, you reach new buyers with promoted listings." Now, if you click it on, it'll give you a little insight, a little, you know, a little intro as to what, uh, you know, about, you know, with the, you know, reach new buyers with promoted listings. I don't use promoted listings. 
Uh, I know, I, from what I understand with it, you don't get charged unless the item sells. I don't, I don't personally think it works, you know, for me. I never tried it. Some people say, if you never tried it, how can you say it don't work? I, it was, I've been following other sellers, what they've been stating about it. And some will say there's pros and cons to it. Some will say it's good that you got sales. Some people say they had it and nothing changed. Um, I don't know if you guys are into, you know, uh, are into this stuff here, promoter listings. If you are, please share it with us because I, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of it, but I just don't use it based on all the uh, negative feedbacks I get uh, from reading out of the blog sites. Um, that's just how I am, you know. I always base a lot of things off of what I hear, uh, so I don't know. Uh, right now, at this point in time, I am not using promoter listings, you know. So uh, I just wanted to, you know, throw that out there. Uh, if you if you want to read it there or I mean, listen, well, if you want to check out their site, uh, as you can see, I'm subscribed and I hit the bell notification icon. So when they come out, uh, you know, I'll get the information. Uh, you can see it over there. It's uh, selling on eBay, you know. Or if you type that in a Google search, just type in selling on eBay, and you might get this story here. Uh, I'm going to bump out of this window really quick here. Anyway, uh, before I close this out, I just, again, I want to say thank you to all the new, uh, new subscribers who subscribe to this channel. It is greatly appreciated. I really do hope you like the content and you come back for more. Um, for those who are also new, I just want to share that this YouTube channel, folks, for those, for the new, the new uh, subscribers and the people who have been or who are already subscribed to me, uh, they hear it all the time and I just want to share it with you guys. This is going to be a YouTube channel that's going to deal with different topics and talk about different discussions. So if you want to hear a little bit of this, that, and the other thing, uh, you might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I did a video the other day. Matter of fact, I got to work on it. I have to do this one here on uh, how I take pictures. <laughs> and I share some photography tips in there uh, of what I do. Now, by far, I am not a professional photographer, okay? And uh, I was watching my video, I was doing a preview of my video I did. And, uh, I, you know, sometimes I repeat things a couple of times within my videos and I, I apologize for that. Like, I, I remember people say, well, you could take it out of you could, I could, but I don't want to reshoot the whole thing. I did it last night, yesterday, and I don't feel like reshooting it all over again. Um, you know, I said in there, I, I stayed a couple of times in there, I'm not a professional photographer, I'm not a professional photographer. You know, people probably say, I got the just of it, or you could just say it once, I know. Um, you know, when you're doing, if you, if you like, you ever had if you're doing YouTube or if you you know just thinking about doing it um, you know it, 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 it what I the way I look at it is you got to be natural with doing this stuff here and you know the thing is you got people you got to point put your mindset when you're doing these videos you're talking to a little webcam I'm talking to a little HP webcam at yay big you know and that's my audience right there I mean like that's what I'm talking to I'm not talking to thousands of thousands of people although when this video is uploaded and edited and uploaded there may be thousands and thousands of people. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not saying I'm super popular, but there's going to be a majority of people watching. Let's put it that way. Like I say, thousands of people. But there's going to be a majority of people watching. Um, you know, the YouTube community, the followers, who, you know, the subscribers, they're going to be watching this again. But people, I think, get a little apprehensive and they get a little, you know, like a little taken back. They're a little jaded in that. You're like, ah, I don't know if I want to, you know, I, I thought like that in the beginning. Uh, I thought while I was doing videos, I said, geez, who's going to watch my videos? You know, it's even worth doing this. my waste of my time. But I said, no, nah, I'm going to do it, you know. And I'm going to continue to do it. I love doing videos, folks. But the most important thing, the point I'm going to get across is to, for those who are new. Um, I love doing videos. And I'm going to, I want, the reason why I do the videos is to help people out. Okay. Um, I don't get anything for it. My channel's not monetized. I don't have the thousand subscriber base. I'm hoping to get there soon enough. And if I do, it's not going to be much anyway. <laughs> but you know, but it's okay. But it, at least I'm achieving a goal. Uh, one of my other goals was to, uh, before Christmas, and I said in a couple of videos, I want to at least you know produce or create uh, a thousand videos. Uh, I'm way off on that, but it's okay. As time goes on, I will get to that thousand mark, and uh, hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll fulfill that part of my uh, dream, if you want to call it that. There. But the most important one is is uh, getting the subscribers. It's very hard to get subscribers and keep them, but that's why I want to do a different, that's why I want this, this whole YouTube format to be different. Um, I want to talk about different things, and if you want to hear me talk about different topics and stuff like that, please subscribe to my channel. That's the only way you're going to find out. And, you know, I, I, want, it, I want it to be fresh content, and, uh, you know, there may be, sometimes there may be some content in there that might revert back to an older thing I did, an older video, but for the most part, it's going to be new content out there, folks. So I really, you know, if you want to listen to me and you, know, you want to hear me, you like me as an individual, you like the content I put out, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And don't forget to that bell notification icon, okay? That's because you'll get updated when I put new videos out. 
But anyway, let me end this video because there's something else I want to share with you guys later on. If I can, I'm going to try to. Anyway, because it depends on what the video is. Uh, believe it or not, by the time I do the editing and uploading, uh, it could take like over, over an hour just to upload it, you convert it, because I'm using the software. I got, I, uh, I use, the software I use right now, folks, is uh, Filmora. I'm using uh, Filmora 8.75 and Filmora 9, but I recently downloaded Filmora Pro. Now that one there, you could download it, and but the only thing is that the only difference with that is, is it's a little tricky for me to use to get used to it. Um, I'll probably talk a little about that maybe in the next video. Uh, you know, getting used to it because it's a little more advanced, kind of like the way they set the format up. Uh, but you know, and, and, and here's the thing: when you download the free one, you're going to get the watermark on it. But you know what? It's for free. And I think Filmora 9, if I understand, uh, that is a free download too. I, I don't think it's a trial, a trial version. I think it's an actual free one. I believe because uh, I looked and I didn't see anything about paying for it. I didn't see any pricing or anything, or uh, it, your trial period is over, or whatever. So I believe those two are free. Uh, for me anyway now i did purchase the first one i did purchase from uh filmora the 8.75 version i think it was that version I, I purchased and uh if i click on the little silhouette of a man like a little image there icon it shows i have a lifetime plan never expires so this is what i got uh and i got it when it was on sale believe it or not it was a good deal i had to jump at it when I seen the YouTube videos on it, how to use it, how friendly it is, user friendly, uh, very intuitive, uh, I said to myself, I gotta jump at this here. And I got it for like really dirt cheap. Uh, matter of fact, I mean, the price, I can even share with you. I think back then, uh, I think it was what, 29 and change, 29.99. It was like half off from there, you know, at that, that time. Uh, I mean, using it now, I would say a couple of years. And I, I tell you the truth, I'm sold on it. But I also, I also like Cyberlink. Uh, Power with Director 14 and I'm going to show you that video on how I use the two to interact with each other How I pull information off of one and incorporate the other because some things one brow, uh, You know video editor software might not have as opposed to the other one So I'm going to try to do a little tutorial out there a little intro on that show you a little about that anyway Enjoy your weekend today. It's Saturday January 5th 2019 and I'm over here in the East Coast of New York, and it's 2 o'clock, it's 2 p.m. Ah, raw, yeah, it's on a cold side, but living up north, that's what you're going to deal with, right? That's what happens this time of the year. Until next time, bye-bye now.